Hi everybody, I'm Frank from Frank's 3D Shop and today we'll try to print a model that Jonathan Hellman suggested in the last Cura example video uh, which is a spinner, a Death Star spinner that goes on top of the extruder on the Monoprice Mini and spins when you print something so when the filament goes in and out the Death Star spins so I think it's a cool print to do um, and he says that he has trouble uh, having a, a smooth finish. So we'll try two ways we can print that model and get a smooth finish and a, a good looking model. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> So the first thing we need to do, of course, is download the model from Tigiverse. I will put the link in the description below. And then we use Mesh Mixer, which is a editor of STL files, for example. So we import the file into Mesh Mixer. So what I want to do is cut the model in half so that we can print both halves accurately on the printer because you see the model is angled from the base and i also will put a link for a mesh mixer tutorial from uh, maker muse which is quite good so you can start with that and then move to this what we are going to do is really simple it's a plain cut in the edit section of mesh mixer and then you have to adjust where you want to cut the model. So I'm going to, since it's angled and I don't know the angle, I'm going to bring up the plane cutting tool and then I'm going to bring it in the middle and then angle it with the model. And I'm going to do this all around until I'm in sync with the model so that we can cut the model okay now the plane cutting tool seems to be at the right place just in the middle of the model so we are going going to use a cut and discard half and remesh fill because we want a bottom we want to be able to print as you see here there is a bottom so it filled up the bottom with the plane and then we export that as a top part and then we do the same we uh, what i do is i do an undo and then push that little arrow so that we cut the other half and then save it as bottom part and then you have the two parts that you need it's easier that way uh, since that model is has some flaws so if i try something else it, it doesn't work next we go into cura and we load those two halves and rotate the one that is upside down 90 degrees Move them inside the build plate on the Monoprice Mini printer. And then we go into layer view to see if the model is okay. And as you see at the bottom, there is a strange thing happening because that model is was angled and cut in, in an angle. You have to use the flat, lay flat function. So the left one is okay, but the right one is still at an angle. Again, do a lay flat. So now it should be flat. Yeah, the two halves are flat on the bed. And I'm going to include in the uh, description of this video the settings that I use in Cura. And let's print it. 
So you, you see here the first example, I cut in half the model and then we glue it together with crazy glue, CA glue, and you get a smooth finish underneath and you get a smooth finish on top with the exception of the last top part but you can send this down and you can also send the two halves so that they meet better in the middle but I don't think it's an issue it's gonna be fine It's not perfect, but um, I should have done a better job sending. A, a, I've gone a little bit aggressive on, on that part. Okay, the second example will be really easy. We just load the actual model from Thingiverse and we add support so that we can print that little pin underneath. So adding support, it's going to help with, de with this and I have a roof support here so it's going to help for the finish of the underside and let's try to print this to see what, it, what we get. So this is the one printed with the support and you can see the layer lines are angled from the model line and if you look underneath it's not smooth at all it's all jagged and you have some hoosing here some drooping because everything was in uh, on an angle and and it printed in in steps going down or up so it doesn't look good at all and if you look at the other model printed in two halves it's really nice finish so that's it for me guys i hope you enjoyed this video I hope to see more suggestions in the comment below uh, about some print that I can try and explain how I do a good print or don't. <laughs> I don't know, it depends on the model, we'll see. Do my best to do a, a good print. As usual, please comment below with your suggestions. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Push that little bell if you want to be notified of new videos coming from me. And see you in the next video. Ciao, bye! Thank <laughs> you.